Draw the shear and bending moment diagrams for this beam. First thing you want to do is draw a free body diagram. At a pin, you have two forces. At a roller, you only have one. And I have my point load in the middle of the beam. So I don't know what whether I'm dealing with English or metric units, but it doesn't really matter. Now I can do my equilibrium equation. Some of the forces equal zero in the x direction tells me that ax equals zero. Some of the forces in the y direction equals zero tells me ay minus p plus by equals zero. And the sum of the moments at a tells me that p times l over two has to equal by times l. That gives you by equals p over two and therefore AY has to equal P over 2 as well. Now I want to break my beam into pieces. As I'm going along, I will have a different free body diagram for X between 0 and L over 2 than I will for a slightly longer piece where I've gotten past L over 2. So now I have to have L over 2 less than X less than L. In both cases, I have my reaction at A, P over 2 up. This X value does not yet get to P. This one does. So this is L over 2 and this is X. X still goes all the way from the left hand end. In both cases put your your internal loads on. V, N, and M. V, N, and M. Now these are not going to be the same values V, N, and M. This is the V, N, and M that you would have for X less than L over 2 and this next one is what you would have for X greater than L over 2. Do your equations of equilibrium. N equals zero in both cases, because I don't have an axial force. Here, I have P over two minus V equals zero. So V is equal to P over two. Down here, I have P over two minus P minus V equals zero. So V is equal to minus P over two. At the top, I have P over two times X equals M. And down here, I have P over two times X minus P times this distance. The distance between P and the break, this is the sum of the moments at the break, is X minus L over 2. And I have M as well. So when I sum those, here I end up with P L over 2 minus P X over 2. Now I can graph, because I know explicitly what the functions are. V starts with the function P over 2. So between x equals 0 and x equals L over 2, my value is P over 2 in some units of force. The x is in some units of length. Between L over 2 and the end of the beam at L, you have a nice constant value of negative P over 2. And then at L, you've come back to 0. Your M is in units of force times length. And if you graph that, you have it linearly increasing from 0 to P L over 4. This is my slope of P over 2 at L over 2. And then I have a linearly decreasing value with same similar slope. This is negative P over 2. And as you, if you plug in numbers, you'll see that that comes back to 0 at X equals L. 